So if we're trying to summarize, I mean, can you summarize your sort of the, the point that you're trying to make in terms of how governments should should change their approach? What 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 what, do you, what is it that they should do differently? We should think more long term, but I'd love that, but no one's doing it because they're voted mm. in every four years. And I, I mean, other than I always joked whether we could have a sort of um, what is it when they all press the buzzer and the t- chairs turn around? It's like you <laughs> yeah, almost need you, yeah the I voice. Don't think I've always, seen that. <laughs> oh, I just wanted a government where you basically you get in. And until you get 80% of people hitting the buzzer, you're in, you, you know? know what? That is not far from what I think, actually, uh. because I think for me, like the biggest challenge that we face, even before all of these economic problems, is actually democracy isn't really working. Mm. Um, support for democracy is quite low. And actually it's, you know, democracy in a lot of parts of the world is retreating. This is after we were told, you know, end of the fall of the Berlin Wall, democracy and capitalism are here. We've won. Exactly. It's the end of history. (laughs) Totally. And now it seems like the legitimacy of our uh, political economic system is on decline and people are blaming the democratic element of it without really seeing the economic side of it. And for me, the reason that democracy is failing is because we have this, these very significant levels of inequality that mean that there's a kind of governing class, largely, largely speaking, who make a lot of the decisions, run a lot of the corporations, and you don't really understand, as you were saying, many of the problems that affect most people's lives. And most people feel, I would say, very powerless. I think that's what Brexit was about. Is that I what think Trump that's is what, about? I think that's what Trumpism is about. I think people see that they are being governed without really feeling like they, they have a say in how that governing process is taking place. And it's not good enough just to say, vote in different politicians every four years. Firstly, because you don't have a say over who you're voting for. But secondly, because there are all sorts of sources of uh, decision making in government that are completely insulated from democratic accountability. Look at the decision to raise interest rates today. You know, the Bank of England is, in inverted commas, an independent organization whose sole remit is to target inflation. But actually, that's a very political decision that the Bank of England has just taken to raise interest rates. It affects the distribution of income. And it's not a democratic decision. Democracy, to me, you know, it's, 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 uh, there's some problems like there was a problem because of international travel and the way the world's internationally works now that we're no longer dealing with the national system. So a billionaire can live anywhere. He doesn't need to pay tax. And then you're like, oh, all of the money is in these thousand people they own. They have 70% of the money and they're the people who don't pay any tax. So there's just some, as a tax person, there's some basic problems mm. now of the fluidity of movement of people. But I think we, you know, again, we talk ourselves into a bit of a corner on this issue because this has been the narrative for a really long time. And this was a narrative that um, a lot of people on the right really worked to push. It was Which, that, what was the narrative? That Sorry. you can't tax the rich, you can't tax corporations because they'll just leave. And oh. actually, we do have, you know, especially as uh, an economy as, as large as we are, and also, you know, potentially working with other wealthy economies as we were supposed to do through the OECD, through the very nerdy base erosion and profit shifting, that sort of thing that never really came to anything. But no, we do have some power to be able to raise tax rates and um, also clamp down on tax avoidance and evasion and to, you know, at least monitor, if not regulate the flows of, uh, of capital like across our borders. We just choose not to, you know, we choose not to invest in tackling tax avoidance and evasion. 